Hey friends, welcome back to Homemade Homestead. My name is Rachel, if you're new around here, and welcome to my kitchen. So we are in full-blown zucchini mode. I have seriously been procrastinating on doing this. We have been harvesting and harvesting and harvesting and harvesting zucchini. I have given a bunch away, we've eaten a lot, but I have just been letting this mound and pile up on my counter and today's the day. You guys are my motivation. <laughs> I am tackling this today. Now I have made dried zucchini where I've shredded it up and dehydrated it and I saved that for soups. I've made, um, oh, what else have I made? I, I made zucchini boats. I made a bunch of recipes for you guys. I'll leave a link to that video up above. But today I'm gonna share with you my simple and easy way of storing a bunch of zucchini. It does not involve canning, which a friend of mine did give me a really cool recipe for like zucchini pickles, which I would like to try. But honestly, I just don't have the time right now and I need to get this stuff put up for the winter time. So I want to weigh this mountain to see how much zucchini we have to work with here. I haven't been good this year on weighing our harvest. I just forget, honestly. We bring it in, I get excited. We usually use it before I think about weighing what we have. So let's weigh this first. Look at this massive one. I got, I let this one get away from me. That's about five and a half pounds just for this one. All right, so that totaled over 37 pounds, about 37 and a half pounds. Can you believe that? Mommy. So let me show you my easy way of putting up 37 yeah. pounds of zucchini. I got zucchini. So you could totally peel these, but I'm keeping it simple and I don't mind the peels. We're gonna take off both ends. So we're going to freeze these. I like to use these in soup. So I try to picture the size I would use in soup, kind of bite size. I cut it into quarters and I kind of just go down and cut it just like that. I want it to be a good size where I can just take this frozen zucchini and throw it into my pot of soup. It'll thaw right while my soup is cooking. You could lay this out on a cookie sheet and flash freeze it so things don't stick together. I found it's not really necessary. I just like break off a clump of in this frozen bag when I'm ready to make soup and it works just fine that way. But it does clump together once it's frozen so if that bothers you, you could totally lay it out, flash freeze it and then bag it up. I don't even mind that the zucchini was bigger and there's seeds in it. You can't really even tell when it's in your soup. So that's a great way to use bigger zucchinis that kind of got away from you. One other way I really like to use this frozen zucchini is in smoothies. You really cannot taste it at all. I know you hear like people say, oh, don't worry, you can't taste it. But honestly, you can't taste it in a smoothie. And I shared that recipe in my three ways to use a bunch of zucchini and I have that linked up above and I'll put it down in the description box below. It's a great way to hide more veggies in food, right? Get these kids to have more veggies. Although my two-year-old likes to eat some of it raw. If you feel like the skin is too tough, you could always peel them before you put them in your frozen or your freezer bag, but I haven't found that necessary 
how are your guys' garden doing this year? Did you guys plant zucchini? Did you get overrun with zucchini this year too? What is your favorite way of putting up squash? Our crookneck didn't do very well this year, but we had a good amount of zucchini, so I'm pleased with that. Way to go, bud. Are you helping too? Yes. Now, when we've frozen these before, we've even frozen them in like two cup portions when we shred them. That way it's a convenient measurement if you're gonna make banana bread or, or sorry, zucchini bread or zucchini muffins. So you could also shred it and freeze it that way. I've done that a lot and it's very convenient. Also last year we made zoodles for the first time and froze them. So that works too. The reason I'm doing it in chunks today is because it is fast and easy and I can still use it in all those things. Not really zoodles, but I could blend it up and put it in zucchini muffins or zucchini bread too if I wanna do it with, do something with that. So we're just trying to get this done quickly. It's nice to have a helper, so thank you. Yay, last zucchini to cut up. All right, I just finally finished. We got a total of eight gallon size Ziploc bags. This will last us for at least a full year, maybe even enough to share with some family. So I'm super excited to get this job done. Thank you guys for motivating me today. That way I stop procrastinating. Let me know down in the comments below how you guys like to preserve your zucchini, if you like to dehydrate it, or if you like to freeze it in like Ziploc bags of two cup portions, you know, for when you do like zucchini bread or um, zoodles. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me today in my kitchen. I hope you guys will give this a try. It is so fast and easy with my little helpers and my two and my eight year old. We got it done in about an hour and this was a lot of zucchini. So I hope you guys will subscribe because I love to do cooking videos every week and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye bye now.